scientists have studied and written about the physical and psychological aspects of color for years, as an artist, being familiar with and using an organized color notation system is valuable. What are the first things we need to know to understand color? It is knowing and understanding the color wheel. We start with the three primary colors of yellow, red, and blue. The three primary colors are the root source of all colors and give birth to all other colors or hues as they are known. You cannot mix another color to get yellow, red, or blue, the primary colors. And when we make other colors from the primary colors, we create a secondary mixture of colors called the secondary colors. By mixing yellow with red, we get orange, red with blue, we get purple, and blue with yellow, we get green. Orange, purple, green are the secondary colors, the second mix. Here we show the secondary color of green made from the mixture of the primary colors of blue and yellow. Tertiary colors. We can continue to mix a third time and create what is known as tertiary colors by adding the tertiary colors. We have completed the simple 12 color wheel. Tertiary means the third order or third mixture. On this color wheel, the arrows are pointing to show tertiary colors. Just imagine all of these colors shown here all originated from the primary colors of yellow, red, and blue. By dividing this color wheel in one half, you can see the warm colors on the right side and the cool colors on the left. Warm colors usually stand out or advance forward, and cool colors recede in a picture. Cool colors work well when painting shadow areas. The word value is used to describe a color's lightness, its tint, or its darkness, its shade. Tint is a color diluted and made lighter by the addition of white. Shade is a color diluted and made darker by the addition of black. And tone is adding a shade of gray to change a color. Complementary colors are colors directly opposite each other on the color wheel. Using the three primary colors as an example, directly opposite yellow is purple, so purple is the complement of yellow. Directly opposite red is its complement green. You can remember red and green as the colors of Christmas. And directly opposite blue is its complement orange. In this example, using the primary color blue and adding its complementary color orange, you see both colors become dull or neutralized and, and slightly darken as they reach the center of the mix. As you keep adding the complements and moving into the center, you will get a muddy, dark brown color. Complementary colors mixed together darken each other better than any other color. You can use black to darken a color, but using the complementary color keeps the color looking rich. Complementary colors used together give a vibratory visual sensation and are very enhancing, but they clash if used in equal amounts. Did you know that our brain creates the complementary color for us? If you take a piece of white paper and draw two circles, make one yellow and, and keep one blank, stare at the yellow dot for 20 seconds, cover the yellow dot with paper, and then stare at the blank dot, you will actually see a violet color in the blank dot because violet is the complement of yellow. Well, we covered a lot of information in this, in this video. If you get anything out of this, remember, purchase or make a color wheel and keep it near you when you work. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please continue to watch part two, which covers the most delicious part of color theory, and that is color schemes or color recipes.